Now guys, Nick here, K Folky, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to wire a UK 3-pin plug. This plug has seen better days. And as you can see, the earth pin has been snapped off and needs replacing. For this video, I'll be using a spare bit of electrical wire so it's easier to show you how the process goes. First, start off by cutting a decent amount of insulation off. Typically around 40mm or 4cm is a good starting point. Carefully cut through the insulation making sure you don't cut too deep through the wires. Once you're through simply pull the insulation off. Like so. This will leave you with your exposed wires. The brown wire is your live, sometimes it could be red. The blue wire is your neutral, sometimes it's black. And if you have three wires, here would be your earth, which is the green, yellow, or just green. Now it's time to strip the smaller wires. I'm using a proper wire stripper for thickness of here. If you don't have a stripper, then just simply use the same technique as you did with the outer insulation. Just be careful not to cut through the copper. Before we strip the wires though, we need to cut back the wires accordingly and check the lengths are right. So I'm undoing the plug and making sure the lengths are perfect before cutting and stripping back. You should have three screws that need unscrewing. Inside you'll find your three pins. One of the pins is attached to the fuse. As you can see there, there's your fuse with the other two pins. Along with the three pins, you should have a cable grip like this to secure the cable in place. Before we shut the wires back, make sure the wires are the correct length by just mimicking where they should go. You want the copper to be just slightly peeking through the pins. On the screen now is a diagram of where the wires go and what lengths of standard plug should be. If you want to be exact. Pause it now if you want to look at it more. Make sure your wires are the correct length and snip off any extra wire. My live wire is too long so I'm just snipping it down to size. Once you're happy with the length of each wire you can now strip the wire back exposing the copper. Here I'm just selecting the right size gauge for the wire. And with a twist and pull, the shielding just pops off. As you can see, firmly gripping onto the wire. Giving it a little twist and it should just pull off. I do the same for each other wire as well. Once each wire is stripped, I twist the copper braid so they're just neat and nice. They are neat and tight together. I'm trying to get a nice close up for you guys, like so. This is how it should look. Again, do the same for the other wires. By twisting them nice and neatly together.
As you can see, the wires are perfect length and the cable sits nice in a plug. For this demonstration, I'm only using two wires because the earth isn't needed for this installation. Now that I'm happy the wires are in place, it's time to secure the cable with the cable gripper. I'm making sure the cable is centered and flat. Whilst holding the gripper in place, I'm going to insert each screw and tighten them so they keep the gripper in place. Once the gripper is secured in place by both screws, I click on the other half of the plug and then commence to tighten each screw one by one until they are all tight. Like so. Making sure that one by one applying even pressure on each one until they're all fully firmly in locked into place. When it's all tightened up, I check to make sure the cable is secure by giving it a firm but gentle tug. There you have it, a freshly wired plug. I just want to quickly show you, this is the original plug that was busted earlier. Now in action and fully functioning. Thanks for watching guys, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Till next time, stay safe and take care.